Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first official video that I've ever made and I'm so excited. I picked up a few products from the Sephora savings event and I figured I'd try them on with you um, and do this makeup look and just chat with you about what is going on in my life right now. I hope you enjoy the video and just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm so excited to try these products. I don't have a ton, about five makeup products that I want to try. So I'm just starting off with my base and I need moisturizer right now. So I'm going to start off with my tried and true coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. Also, sorry about my voice. I'm a little bit sick right now. So annoying. I've actually been sick for like almost a month. So I'm just trying to figure that out, um, but it's not getting any better. So here we are. <laughs> you guys, this moisturizer is so good. I have bought like several bottles of this stuff. You just cannot go wrong. It's like cooling on the skin, so it's just amazing. So, and it's kind of glowy, but I'm actually gonna add even more glow. So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I have the shade Medium Glow. And it's just a little bit deeper, but it really doesn't have like a huge color to it, like a huge tint, but it does, I feel like, like kind of mask imperfections and give you like a clean slate to work with, which I love. So this has been my summer go-to, but it's also just good for every day. So a little life update. My husband and I actually moved to Montana. We were from Iowa moved across the country to Montana and we've been here for honestly only a four or five days so we're still getting settled in but I love it we love it it is so so pretty here the people are so nice we're just super excited to get to know more people in this community and just find our spot so yeah feeling really really good okay now I'm going in with this is one of the items that I picked up I got really excited, already took it out of the box, but it is the House Labs by Lady Gaga Concealer. I haven't heard a ton about this concealer, but the description sounded so good and perfect. And I just want to find a makeup routine that is like super easy, super natural looking, and just like fun to do. That's why I bought these products. So we'll see how this turns out. But this uh, concealer claimed to be like de-puffing and I'll be working pretty early hours. So I'm like, I think that'll be super nice if it actually does. <laughs> um, I got the shade 13 Light Neutral. It has a really big applicator. And I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna kind of put that everywhere, but focus under my eyes. Whoa, it's kind of thick. I don't know. I just kind of put my concealer everywhere. But I'm I don't use foundation either. So this is kind of what I do. So yeah, just kind of putting that in the places where I feel like I have redness. I'm using the Rem Beauty Makeup Sponge, Ariana Grande's makeup brand. I actually really like this sponge. Yeah, so far I like this concealer. I wanna see what it does for my eyes. <laughs> I'm hiding from the people so they don't see me. <laughs> I really want a concealer that's like natural looking but also able to cover and wears well so that's kind of my standards for a concealer and i feel like i haven't quite found a concealer that i'm just obsessed with like i have some that i like like i like the nars off matte complete concealer in the pot i like that one but sometimes i feel like it looks a little unnatural on the skin like a little cakey in a way um and I like the glowish concealer uh that one's really good for like the summertime every day it's just super lightweight doesn't have a ton of coverage um so I'm just looking for like a little more coverage you know okay that looks good I think the color match actually is really nice it has a subtle glow to it which i really do love it's very like smoothing as well some texture here 
and it looks very it does look very skin like okay i am excited about that so first impressions i really like now i'm just gonna set those areas with some powder this is the glowish powder this stuff i actually really like i use it every time i use the makeup and i barely put a dent into it so i would say it's worth the money i also am loving this concealer because typically when i go to this part of my makeup like i already have creasing underneath my eyes so i have to kind of like blur that out before i put on the powder but this has very minimal and that makes me feel like it's not gonna crease as i wear it which would be amazing because i do tend to crease throughout the day okay so now we have our next product, which I'm super excited about, also by House Labs. It is the uh, Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I am so excited about this. I cannot open this. <sighs> okay, seriously. Okay, I got it. This is actually so, so, so pretty. I love this packaging. All right. So this is what it looks like. I got shade four and I'm actually really glad. Um, online it almost looks a little dark, but it does not look too dark in the pan so far. So I'm just gonna use this tiny the mirror that it comes with. And we're gonna go ahead and use bronzer like we typically do. I'm using this fluffier brush. I just want it to look a little more natural not super heavy so just going in with like a lighter brush and just really just brushing it lightly all around so far this feels super smooth oh i mean you guys can see that that is so pretty and i'm barely using like i'm kind of like tapping just a little bit tapping off the excess and then just kind of very lightly swirling and I just feel like the payoff is gorgeous you guys like I barely have to do anything and that's exactly what I'm looking for is products that I can just quickly tap boom we're good you know so I'm loving loving that that's so pretty so natural looking um I believe she describes this as like a gel formula and I just, I'm obsessed. Like it's not a full on cream, but it's also not a full on powder. So, so far the products that I've gotten are a hit. Let's move on to blush. I think that I'm gonna use, I have two options here. I have the Patrick Ta cream blush that I love to use. Typically I've just been doing the cream or the Rare Beauty blush. I'm gonna do the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Hope. This blush is so pretty, you guys. I actually tried it once. Um, I don't even remember what shade I tried, but I was like, mm, I don't really love it. And then I got this shade and I'm like, that's perfect. Summertime, fall, winter, like it's just this, this color specifically is such a beautiful shade, but the, the formula is just so, so good like and you i've used my fingers a ton to blend this in and it's perfect but you just go in and just blend it out and it looks so natural it looks a little more glowy because my sponge is wet but yeah this color is just super natural looking so i feel like i'm gonna be using that on a day-to-day -day basis for sure you can layer it up um i just did like a tiny bit but I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more because I do like, you know, a good little blush moment. I love this color. It is so pretty and that'll last you forever. And you'll want it forever because it's such a pretty formula and such a pretty blush. So I would typically do a little bit of highlight. You honestly don't need it, but this highlight is just so easy to use. So this is the Glossier Halo Scope Highlighter in the shade Quartz. Listen, I have had one of these for so long like i remember when these things launched just off of their website and i was so excited i remember i was working and i ran to the bathroom and brought my phone so i could order this like immediately i was like i need it in my life 
Guys, this highlight is so good. It's so easy to use. It's super like natural looking. I just love it. You cannot go wrong. Okay, my face is done and I really, really like it. Like the concealer looks really natural. I have no creasing. Like usually I'll use powder and powder like my eyelids and I'll have a little bit of creasing. I have none. That is amazing. That makes me so happy. And I barely used any of the product. So that's a 10 out of 10 so far. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna just do a little bit with the eyes and I do have a new product um, here for eyes as well. It is from Kulfi, Kulfi? I'm not sure how to say it. It is a Zari Eyes Eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow cream, it's in a pot. So I'm super curious about this. I don't know if it's gonna be like a great everyday shade, but it's basically like this really pretty bronze color. And I just love the idea of like a pot. You just go, you know, tap it all over. So that's literally what I'm gonna do. But first, I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and just put it in my crease. So this will just act as like an eyeshadow a little bit, just to give a little bit of definition. Boom, pretty. You guys have to get the Tazo uh, Glazed Lemon Loaf Tea. It is so, so good. Like I usually make tea and I drink like three sips and I'm like, it's fine. Like I'm not in love, but this tea, I have to drink the whole cup. I'm like, no, it's too good for that. Even if it goes cold, I'm like, I'm still t drinking that. Wow, the texture is so cool. It kind of reminds me, you guys, of Fuller Pop eyeshadows. You know that like cold, kind of wet texture? That's kind of what this reminds me of. Um, I'm just going in with my fingers. Ooh, pretty. Wow, it's so creamy. I can feel a little bit of fallout, like just a tiny bit. But like, that's so pretty. Wow, right? The texture is beautiful. I mean, it is so easy to use your fingers and just like kind of blend it around like this. I can already tell that this side's pretty much dry, which is awesome. It does claim to be like crease proof. So I like that. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit with my brush. They have some really fun colors too. I think they have like a green, like a bright lime green. Super pretty. All right, well that's literally all I'm doing with my eyes. I'm just gonna keep it super simple. Again, I don't know if this is something I will do every day, but it's just, it's, I mean, that took me 30 seconds, like so easy. So, and the color is just really, really pretty. Another thing I like to do with the eyes, again, with the bronzer is just go on the bottom and line just a little bit. I feel like that also kind of helps with any creasing. It just kind of adds a little bit more powder and kind of blends out the creasing as you do it, so I really like that. Eyes are almost done, but we have a new mascara to try, yay! So I picked up the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. It was super well rated. I was like, okay, I need a new mascara. Let's just see, let's see what the girlies are like in these days, right? So I actually have been curling my eyelashes, which is something I haven't done in a long, long, long time. But I do find that it adds just the lift that you need, you know? It's just pretty, I like it. This is what the wand looks like. It's like curved and super full. Okay. It's very lightly applying right now, I feel like. Might need to, might be one that you have to go on a few layers, but I love wands like this that have the curves so you can get really like on your inner corner. I like it. I feel like I would like a little bit more definition, but again, it might just be one of those that you have to go in a few times, you know? Okay, 
I do have to say, the wand is pretty easy to do on the lower lashes, which is nice because that's not always the case. I do like it. I just don't know if I'm obsessed, you know? I feel like I need to see how it wears. Okay, well, that literally went everywhere, but let's try to go in with another layer. I think it looks good after two layers, a little bit messy, but again, I'll have to just see how this wears. Okay, I have one more makeup product to try, and this is another Glossier product. Um, I just wanted a super natural everyday lip color that doesn't look like, oh, you have something on your lips, you know? So I picked up the Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick. I'm pretty sure I've had one of these in the past, but I can't remember. This one's in the shade Leo. So it's just this pretty like brownie nude. Let's see. It is kind of like thick feeling. Thick and dry. Oh, ho, ho. I love it. It actually feels really nice. I I feel like they've changed it since I had it the last time. But it's like very soft. But your lips look so natural, just like a little bit better and a little bit of a tint. I mean, that is so nice. Okay, so that's my makeup look. I love it. I honestly love every product that I picked up, especially the bronzer and the concealer. And the eyeshadow is gorge, you guys. So pretty. Everything's a hit. The only thing I'm questioning a bit is the mascara. Again, I just feel like... I need to give it a little bit more wear time. Um, but yeah, everything I love. Um, the last product I picked up is a hair product. I'm really excited about this as well. Um, I got the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. It says it smooths, smooth styles, preps blowouts, defines curls. So I've seen girls using this for like a slicked back hair look and... I will be doing that a ton. I love a slick back look, but I don't have like a gel or a cream to use. And I love that this has like more stuff in it to help your hair. Obviously, I dye my hair. I just redyed it and I do love it. I do it on my own. So if you guys want a video of how I dye my hair, let me know. It actually is super fun. It's super easy and it's so cheap. So yeah, I've been loving that. But Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty get ready with me. If you try any of these products or if you picked up some products from the sale and you love them, let me know. I love trying new things. So I'd love to just hear what you picked up and what you've tried. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.